a video of me showing you how to make ultra fat distorted rhythm and <laughs> I'm gonna teach you the right recipe on how to do this the right way so we can get spicy with some rhythm. If you're trying to do like heavier stuff, I think it really helps to just have small kicks or just really punchy, small, fast kicks. Have it off just a little bit to give it a little bit of swing, you know? Um, makes it sound better. What I did here is, it sounds a little different without the swing, of course. So, what I did is I have it around like 127. I played with the, uh, you can do that throughout cloning more so you can get more variations. And then, you know, I have, yeah, I also have a LFO automation onto the wavetable and the level. So, you know, down sample, down sample is literally one of my favorites. It's one of my best friends. Um, and I also have a filter right here. Doing, I'm not really doing anything to the filter other than just cutting off a certain part of the sound on the high end. See? Gives me that, that tonality I really like, that uh, under the ground, like in a cave or something like that. I have it pushed all the way in the mix. I did that just because I liked the push sound on it and it sounds clean. I cleaned it up and everything. So if it sounds good, it sounds good. The start of the chain, I have this right here, EQ, cutting the low end out to 156. Not on point 150, but it's a 156, you know. Just to cut a little more out. And then I have a Vocadex here. Pretty sure it's a default. Maybe I put the bands down or something, but it's practically default. And then I cut the low end out here because it was still producing some more low end from the plugin itself. So I cut that out. And then I cut some more out because without it, it would just leak in. Uh, after a lot of things that you add, you might want to keep on adding more EQs after them, possibly, to check it. Um, sounds like a, a task, but you know, sometimes you have to do that. Got a flanger, it's on ultra chorus, right here, ultra fat chorus. This just widens the sound, so if I go like, sounds way different, it sounds way different. And also, it also adds like a wetness to it. And then we have the reverb. I really like that reverb on my sounds just because it's something that I resonate with. Um, you don't have to do it that intensely and you know, that Dirt Monkey listened to uh, I think Deep Midar and he said that the reverb was just a tad bit too much for him but other than that, you know, that just comes down to a preference type of thing um, to each producer, you know. Each producer is going to have their own views on something. Um, now there is doing something too much of, but you know, normally you learn what not to do too much of. So, the sub is actually pushed quite a it's bit. It's at negative 5.8, uh, negative 5.8, which is, I guess, quite, I mean, it should probably be pushed down to negative 6, but I wanted to push it a little more to give it that, you know, and uh, that's kind of what I was going for. Then I have an EQ, obviously, cutting out this end, uh, the higher end, and I have it cut off at 150 exactly. And then I go into the Sound Goodizer. I always put Sound Goodizer on my subs. It just pushes it a lot. Um, it's like a Maximus preset. And then I have Wave Shaping. This is something that I do just me. Um, I don't know if people do this on their subs. But I like the result on this. Um, and then I put some more blood overdrive, which pushes the volume a ton. And uh, I have it just a little bit. Normally, I would turn on the 10x. I mean, the, the 100. I normally I would turn on the 100x, but I didn't for this one, just to you know see where it I goes. have the soft clipper at the end, just to help a little bit with the control. And then that, I think that's pretty much it. Now, what really, really, really is doing the work here? So, if I turn off. A lot of these background sounds, like right here, on the higher end, are adding to a like really adding that type shit. Is the the pushness of the sound? Like this is pushed a lot, you know. It's pushed so high, and I'm letting a lot of mid frequencies in. So this being so high is also gonna make this. 
you hear it like you can hear this slight distortion it adds a slight distortion now there's another way of doing all this and that's recording the sub and like blasting it so it's distorted you know blasting it with distortion and then copying it out and it's like you know freezing flattening it and editing it out under the bottom as a layer there's that way but there's also this way too and sometimes I like to do the little bit unprofessional way because it adds the more it just adds that uniqueness that you cannot get if you're doing it controlled with an Edison and you know layering it in but I'm doing it to a point where it's safe like everything's cut off everything sounds good really really helps really helps is if you have background sounds if you can do like high-end background sounds like something like this it's just gonna add the more distortion kind of coming out uh, with the mids and you know the main sound all cr trying to cross and trying to go out at the same time it's just gonna give some really nice natural distortion it just adds to it see now you can actually hear the background sounds you can hear them and so it, 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 it all mixes in when it comes to getting more natural distortion to come out. I took LFO 1, put it on the level, put it on 1 16th, and then I have the down sample on because then it would sound more dumb. That's pretty much it. And then on the mixer, I have it pushed to zero, and I just have an EQ on it. Cut all the way to 950. One, I'm gonna be doing one every week and yeah I try to expect even some more creativity uh, expect different videos other than tutorials I mean I'm gonna try to do something trust me um yeah I am that I in that I will be also releasing that 500 sub pack for you guys helping me to 500 subs and I appreciate it so much thank you uh, and that makes me kind of want to get back into this because I didn't really think it would ever hit like ever hit 500 subs and people would actually be so appreciative of the stuff that I'm teaching here. Oh, I just you know thought it goes in one year and it goes out. I mean, thought it goes in one year and comes out the other. But uh, yeah, give you guys really good content, fun content, and just enjoyable content. So thank you for watching. Hope you learned. Never give up. Bye.